Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to Downfall. Previously on Downfall, we met in Mad Doctor, where we were given a pretty typical adventure game fetch quest. Cigarette machine. Vending machine that sells a pack of cigarettes. Wow, you left that thing up with one hand. Alright then. Really do have a smoke now. All right, buy some cigs. Got use for this money now. No, no, no! The pack got stuck. Come out, you damn thing! Come out! Okay, no. come on. If only I had another tenor. Nothing. If only I had another tenor. Well, that frustrates me. Whoa. That fell. Room 203. I'm not quite sure where I'm going. These hallways are really long. Two zero two. Locked. So many suitcases. And there's the elevator. So it loops around on itself. My mother is crying. <laughs> I laugh as the train passes by. Made absolutely no sense. But okay. It's from Ivy. Part of the letter is missing. I miss you. I do. I force myself to hate. Still there, deep in my soul, you live, and through my eyes, every day, you cry. We should be able to go into the cellar now. Nothing good will come of this, of course, but you know. I have no idea what I'm looking for. You'll know it when you see it, he says. Yeah, right. A bottle. A bottle of castor oil. Never be consumed with blueberry pies. I just take everything here. Light is already on. <laughs> oh god. Trap door. I wouldn't even notice if it wasn't for the light coming through the gap. Where's the light switch? Gone? No. Stained chef's uniform. 
She nearly sent down here from cleaning. Key inside. Kitchen key. Well, first person. Gas supply switch. Gas supply. A body. Do I know this person? No, that's impossible. It's empty. No, it's just really fucking weird. Thanks for doing the dishes, Ives. Thanks for making dinner. It is nice. I'm just... I'm just glad you're eating again. It got me a little worried. You know, this whole... Can we just forget about it? I'm fine. There is nothing to worry about. Playing as Ivy at the moment, I guess. Mirror, look at. Huh? The monster in the mirror. Who's done this? It won't budge. I really don't know new eyes. to be actually trapped. Oh, cat. Stupid cats. Oh, that's not normal. That's not normal either. Well, budge. Everything's, uh, filling with blood. And there's a, a blood ghost. I'm actually not sure what that actually quite is. That's terrifying. Pathetic. Ugly. Bitch. Everyone's looking at you. Your fat, disgusting body on their tongues. Let me out! Please, just let me out! There is only one way out. And you know it. Because you've been there many times before. No, I don't want to. Quiet. Now, be a good fat little girl and crawl into that hole before anyone sees you. On the way out. And this is all to symbolism for her throwing up her guts after eating. Oh, there's a brain. The brain looks so fresh. Is this the item I was asked to fetch from the cellar? I bet my last cigarette that it is. Don't have a cigarette. I can't just carry it upstairs in my hands. There's got to be some way I can deliver it fresh. I'm gonna need some ice, I think, aside from the glass. All these bottles, are they poison? My god. You just have to kill me. We kill memories all the time. Okay. I can do this. But I've only got one shot. Which one do I take? Red makes you think of blood, danger, and fire. Blue, color of the sky, water, and... We need a syringe, that means. So we get that later. 
Main gas currently in the off position. I've switched it on. I've switched it off now. Let's keep it off for now, actually. I might have already done something really bad. Someone could have been smoking somewhere. Oh, I actually realized that's going to be the next puzzle. I need to get the cigs. Give someone a cigarette, and then go down and flip up the glass. I'm calling that right now. Alright. Use the kitchen key. Blender. Examine. It's one big blender. Cooking pot. Turn the knob. There's nothing in the pot. I would just burn it. Pigo. Ron Pig. Nice. Picking a nice pick. One of the few freezers in here that aren't completely frozen shut. Alright. Let's use the ice pick. Take ice. I have to do everything very specific. I filled the bowl of ice. I think it's dead, or just sleeping. I know you're just a pig, but I want to tell you this. Hang in there. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Just talking to pigs. It's normal. Come on, me. I can't just carry it upstairs in my hands. There's got to be. I gotta use the bowl, nice. Got you in here. Okay. Come on, buddy. We're going for a walk. Big gaping hole. Go up. Maybe get a syringe, I guess, from the doctor. Doctor, I have brought the brain. Ah, I see you have it. Quick, give it to me. Give it to me, boy. I'll give you exactly what you want. Right here. Is this what you wanted? One fresh human brain. What else could I want? Yes. Now we have a chance. Eradicate the bad, restore the good. Or what's left of it anyway. Fingers crossed, Doc. Fingers crossed, Doc. This has nothing to do with luck, mind you. I am certain my calculations were correct. Now it's just a matter of following a correct procedure. But since my nurses took their leave all at once, I will require your assistance. This cavity here? Hold it open for me whilst I lower the brain into place. Should I wash my hands? Oh, no, I guess not. That'd make too much sense. Put some elbow grease into it, boy! <laughs> That's better. And a little push? Hmm, maybe this way? It's okay, it's just the bowl. We can clean it up later. Almost got it. Just a tiny bit more. It's in! We've done it, boy! You're a pretty nice man, Doctor, to be frank. I feel like I could chill with you, you know, in between all the, the random brain surgery. So this is how you do brain transplants. It's so easy, I'm surprised people don't do it more. Hmm. Now that everything is ready, it is time. For the machine. The machine? Yes, we will need to kick some life into this young lady. She's still very much dead, have you forgotten? No. Maybe. No, I haven't forgotten. Good, because we have no more brains to spare, boy. I'll let you do the honors. There's a lever on the side of that chair over there. Can you see it? Just walk over to the right, 
I've run the wires from the chair to the body on the table. Less heavy lifting. See? Safer for our spines. That's cool now. The lever? What about it? What does it do? Pull it and we shall see. It gives a little like technical shock. Okay, here we go. Begin atmospheric music. Crash on the power. I don't understand. Have we run out of power? Hmm, it's probably just a fuse. I'd better go and investigate it myself. Don't strain your spine. And what am I supposed to do? Poke around. Something I could take in here? Like something I could use to poison somebody? Hello? Guess not. Alright. What? Where? What is. Hello? Yes. Stop. Whoever you are, don't come any closer. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Thank you, and I'm so very glad that you said that, but... But that's not the only problem here. I woke up, I'm butt naked, and I'm really freaking cold. I need some clothes, man. Huh? I'm not coming out until you get me something to wear. Bring me some clothes! I don't want to sit here all day. Okay, conveniently out of angle, girl. I'll get you some clothes from somewhere. I haven't gone to the third floor yet. I'm curious if I need anything up here. Obviously, I remember Sophie's gonna be up here, but... Can I do stuff up here early? Private party tonight. Invitations only. I guess the party hasn't started yet. Meeting of a lady wearing a hat. I feel like her eyes have been following me around the room. Oh yeah, here we go. She slashed her wrist in the bath. What nasty way to die. Normally I steer clear of dirty needles, but today's not a normal day. That's a shotgun. Oh, fuck the suicide. Use the castor oil. Alright then. We'll come back with a shotgun. What's down to Yeah, we gotta definitely turn the knobs on that. She must be one of the four incarnations of Sophie. be back soon. And I get like two things here. I'm keeping that syringe because I actually do need that. Um, this is bad. We're not supposed to go to the fourth floor.
All right then, I'll take that as a yes. I switched it on. Turn the gas, cause I know what we have to do up there. I'm sure one of these would give somebody a peaceful death, but which one? Well, blue drug. Here goes nothing. It's time for your medicine, girl. We talk pretty creepy once we start going, don't we? The syringe? Is this what you wanted? It seems so. But... Will it... hurt? I hope not. That's really the best thing you can say. I don't really know. I hope not. You don't know? Are you sure it's... Are you even sure it's gonna kill me? There was poison written on the bottle. And a picture of a skull. Okay. That sounds about right, I guess. That sounds like but poison. I'm gonna ask you one last favor. Can you do it? What? Take that needle and stick it in my arm. I don't. I can't do it myself. No. Please. I'm begging you. No. I don't want your blood on my hands. But, Joe. You are already covered in it. From head to toes. I said no. Fine. I'll do it myself. Perhaps I should. Life points achieved. Good luck, Joe Davis. For what it's worth. I hope you find your ivy. Alright, that was the wrong juice. Hey, free dress. Alright. I have your, uh... Outfit. Ooh! Here. Put this on. The girl who wore this kind of had their head blow up, so you know. You don't really? mind. A wedding dress? I'm sorry. All the shops were closed. So you just pulled this thing out of garbage? Wow, this is so neat. How did you know? I can tell already that you and me are going to be the best of friends. I'll gladly take it back if it's not good enough for you. You can go looking for your own dress. And good luck with that. You can go looking for your own dress. Look at him all smug and condescending. You can see damn well I have no great choice here. I'd wear a chicken costume if you brought one. Then what are you moaning for? Who's moaning? You're moaning. Listen. But, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Go over there for a second and I'll put this thing on. Okay. I'll just stand right here. Yeah, there's blood on it. Don't be don't honest with me. Did you butcher somebody's wife to be to get this dress? Uh, let's. Ignorance is better. No, of course not. Why do I not believe you? <laughs> How do I look? Well, I have so many choices. Like a gypsy princess. You remind me of somebody I used to know.
Let's just be normal nice. You look very nice. Aw, thank you. It's not really my color, and it's a bit tight around the waist. But I guess you can't afford to be picky when you wake up covered in blood in a strange room with no recollection of who you are. Do you at least remember your name, or are you going to die? What are you going to do, Rever? <laughs> do you at least remember your name? Why? Do you not know it? I figured we were friends. But now that you've asked, you could be anyone, really. A deranged psychopath, for all I know. Wait. Maybe I do know your name. Let me think. Maybe it's Agnes. Your name is Agnes. Damn right it is. Cool. So we do know each other then. No. Not really. A guy who runs this place told me your name. And how did he know? Yeah, it's more ignorance is bliss. He didn't really go into details. Hmm. Maybe he was some sort of stalker? Nah. He was some sort of a doctor, I think. Yeah, a pervy sort. Playing with naked dead ladies. What a creep. How did you die? How did you... die? I can't remember, or don't want to. It's probably one of the two, but it could be both, or neither. Please don't be crazy like everyone else around here. I'm not! I'm a nice, happy person. I just haven't decided if I trust you enough yet. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to tag along. This room gives me the creeps. There are worse out there. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. But you won't let anything happen to me, right? Nah, of course not. Unless I turn out to be a psychopath. I promise. I'll keep you safe. And what if I trip over the stupid wedding dress and break my neck on the stairs? I'll catch you. Aw, that's really nice. Really. You know what? If you ever fall, I'll catch you too. Deal. Joe. Joe Davis. My name is Joe Davis, by the way. Look for my wife. Oh, so you are Joe Davis. Of course, now it all makes sense. It does? I'm supposed to give you a message. A note. There was your name on it. And when I first saw it, I thought, Joe Davis? Who the fuck is Joe Davis? And it's you! A letter? Where did you find it? I held it all scrunched up inside my hand when I... came alive. No clothes, none of my stuff. That was the only thing I had on me. So I figured it must be important. You still got it? No, I ate it. Of course I've still got it. But since this dress doesn't have any pockets, I hid it in here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Can you turn around for a moment? I'll get it out. The note. I'll get the note out. Okay. Is that okay? Too close. Just walk further away and give me a minute, okay? How difficult is this for you, really? Okay, that's... Agnes? We've got a problem. Agnes, start running. Agnes, run. Run. Look, he's not attacking. If I just stand here. Okay, he's attacking. Continue as Joe or continue as Agnes? Really? Who do I want to go as? Well, this is Joe's story. We may have to go between them both from the Lake Jump perspective. Do you think... Do you think I'm pretty? Pretty thrilled to walk this earth. Like he is. Wow.
just about the prettiest girl that's ever walked this earth. Let's go cliche. Yeah. That's what I thought when I first saw you. That was five years ago. I'm 29 now. And I feel... 29? I don't know. You're still just as beautiful as you were then. Ah, oh, of course you would say that now. I mean it. No, I know you. You're just saying that because you're hoping to get late again. That's all. I'm saying it because I love you. I know. And I wish I could just not think about it, but I... Think about what? You will not understand. Yeah. Let's not choose this one. Try me. It's stupid. I feel like such an idiot, and I hate myself for it. But it's there, all the time. This inner voice trying to change who I am. I try to stop it. I try. But it always comes back, and I do it again. You can talk to me about it. I... I can't. Really. It doesn't matter. Just worrying about nothing, I guess. You know what I'm like. I do. And I can see there's something you're not telling me. You will... You're not gonna like this. Let's just leave it. Hmm. I'm here for you, Ivy. Just say what it is. Okay. I've been... making myself sick. What? And... I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this, but... It's so easy. <laughs> Just stick fingers down my throat so I can look the mirror again and like what I see but why because I'm a woman I want to be beautiful again Joe you are beautiful please has someone said something mean to you again you know you shouldn't be listening to those assholes but it's everywhere Joe those women on TV and in the magazines why can't I be like them but you're not even fat. I'm size 12, Joe. 12. Promise me you'll never do it again. That's why I've told you. So I could stop. I'll help you. You'll just have to talk to me whenever you feel like doing it again. We can beat this shit together, Ives. Joe, you rub your stomach a lot. We should totally get a cat. We should totally get a cat. I thought you hated cats. I never said that. It's a little unexpected, but okay. A cat. Why the hell not? Maybe a random happy distraction is what we need around here. Just not <laughs> one of those bald little fuckers. It will cats be black as happy. night with eyes like two shiny emeralds. And it will stink. And purr. And scratch. And we'll cuddle it tight every time we feel sad. Poor cat. What will we name him? Him? Hmm. Mr. Fluffy! Lucifer. I think that was actually the original name. Lucifer. 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 Hmm. Yes. That's good. I mean, it's bad, but it's good. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey. I like it. So that's settled then. 
maybe I'll ask this crazy lady next door if she has any kittens. You know how there's always plenty of cats around there. Awesome! Joe? Bless the cat lady. Yeah. Here we go. This is not fucking happening. It's a coffin. I'm buried alive in a goddamn coffin. Help! That's a hell of a scream. Help! Let me out! Is there anyone there? There's no one out there, Joe. Dave. You might as well give up now. Cry. It's easier that way. Nico. Who are you? Who are you? Dead YouTubers. It's been so long. You've forgotten their names long ago. It all just doesn't matter when you're dead. All there is left is watching and waiting. Watching and waiting. Watching and waiting. I miss the old undead where they just sat there sarcastically shaking their coffins. <laughs> where am I? This place has many names. Some call it the Void. Some call it the Grave. Some call it Six Feet Under. And some, some call it call Dirt. It but we like to call it... Wait for it, Joe. The Paradise of the Rotten Flesh. <laughs> How do you know my name? How do you know my name? The maggots told us. They told us all about you. Maggots that look like people. But you mustn't trust them. Because they're maggots. All they want is to... All that maggots want is... To eat your fucking brain, Joe. <laughs> Funny fellas, them maggots. Alright, YouTubers. Get me out of this grave. I ain't dying like you. I'm not gonna die. I have a channel to run. There's gotta be a way. Oh, but there is. Look around you. Closely. It seems that someone's left a little gift for our good friend, Joe. Lucky him. Always led a charmed life, this one. Search the coffin. What's this? You know very well what it is, Joe. The only way out of here. The only escape. The question is... Are you man enough to do it? Do you have the balls? Will you do what you've gotta do? One pull of a trigger, and it's all over. It'll only hurt for a second. Be in charge of your own destiny. You could never have won that battle anyway. It was lost from the start. All there's left is to do the right thing and save your face. Not that there'll be much of it left if you do fire that gun. <laughs> No, I'm not doing it. You won't convince me. It's really stereotypical. Uh... Agnes, save me.